You know, one of the earlier uh, teaser posters for this movie had this tagline, Nothing can prepare you for this. Unless it's not false advertising. The Hurricane Heist is this new movie directed by some guy named Rob Cohen who's directed movies like Alex Cross and I forgot and basically that's what this movie is. It is about a heist, a bank heist that happens during a hurricane. Should be exciting, right? Well, I, I would forgive you if you actually thought that going into the movie, but I'm here, sad to say, or, well, I mean, I don't know, if it'd probably be shitty either way, but nevertheless, the Hurricane Heist is awful! Awful! You would think a movie about a bank heist during a hurricane would be exciting, but no, the Hurricane Heist is boring as shit! Like, I could barely grasp what was going on in the plot uh, because there was some really awkward dialogue, horrible acting, and I'll get to that acting here in a bit, and just plot lines I just don't care about mixed in with some pretty bad CGI. I mean, oh god, this is, this is by far one of the worst disaster movies I have ever seen in my life. The two, the, the, only, the only two disaster movies, at least right now that I can think of that are probably worse than The Hurricane Heist, are Sharknado and Disaster Movie. Now, let's talk about Toby Kebbell. Normally, he's a really good actor. I mean, he was fantastic in the new Planet of the Apes movies when he played Koba, and I think he wasn't even all that bad in the new Fantastic Four. But I don't know what he was doing in this movie, uh, because... While he was acting with his voice, his face was just so blunt, was, had the same expression through most of the movie. Like, come on boys, we gotta go. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm trying to get into a southern accent here. I may live in West Virginia, but I don't talk like West Virginia. Even though West Virginia is technically part of the north, and yet people still act southern around here. I don't get it. Okay, he, he sounds, he, he looks, like his acting is basically like this. Oh, come on, brother, let's go get the tornado thing, boy, let's, woohoo, yeah. Like, he has the, he has this expression throughout the entire thing. I mean, even when, even when he says, like, no, no, like, his face is that, like, it's still that stiff. He just has no, ex he barely has a single expression in this movie other than just, other than just this. Oh, and you should see the kid who played him, uh, when he who played this character when I guess when he was a kid, in the beginning of the movie, like the literally the first line of the entire movie was, "Dad," I mean, I was like, what kind of a southern accent is that? It sounded like Andy Kaufman whenever he tried to do a southern accent. I mean, Christ, it's so so dumb. I mean. Oh God! Oh, and let's talk about let's talk a little bit more about the beginning of this movie. And I'm not gonna give away spoilers or anything. I'm just explaining some really stupid things. Okay. Uh, so basically, like, uh, like in the beginning, uh, there's a there's a hurricane, and you see uh, the younger Toby Keppel character, who's a kid, and his brother, and they're with their dad. Uh, in their in, in in their truck, trying to get away from us from a hurricane, and so they come across a house, and instead of being the responsible parent, uh, when they go in, the dad says, "Okay, stay okay, stay right here. I'm gonna go uh, secure the truck or whatever." I'm like, "Okay, first of all, one, why are you leaving your kids alone in a potentially horrifyingly dangerous situation? Two, um, uh, like, you're not even, like, he's just leaving them in, in the middle of a room that has a bunch of windows. Hurricane and Tornado Safety 101, stay away from the windows. I mean, 
Could you not check if there's a basement somewhere? Do you really not think you couldn't have done that? That's so dumb. That's so stupid. Why would you not, you know, tell your kids to, or like, or at least try to find a basement somewhere where there's no windows? That is so bizarre to me. I don't get it in the slightest. And yeah, and it's, that's, again, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving it off there because, you know, I'm not getting into spoilers, but I mean, when I say the Hurricane Heist is boring, it is boring. Had it not been for the for the old couple that was sitting in front of me, I don't know why they're watching this movie. They could easily see another. There's obviously other movies that they could see, but, uh, but like, had it not been for them sitting there, I would have just yelled, "End already, please, fuck." It's just that bad. I know, like, uh, uh, critics have been way too nice to this movie. Uh, I think it's, like, in the 40s on Rotten Tomatoes or something. I don't know. And it's a lot more split than I thought it was. And Because I guess some of them are saying, you know, it's like, you know, it's that tongue-in-cheek kind of thing. But I'm like, I don't really think that's supposed to be that way. It's legitimately trying to have you care about these characters. But it, but it just, it just fails in every way, shape, or form. The writing is stupid. The acting is stupid. The pacing is bad. The story goes in directions that make no sense whatsoever and are just, like, laughable in a way where, like, oh my god, why did you actually do this? Not in a way where it's like, oh man, this is so, uh, tongue-in-cheek, whatnot. Like, no, this, like, I legitimately think they were trying to make a good movie, and this just failed. Even then, if you're trying to make a bad movie, don't try to make a bad movie. That's not going to make the movie any better. Because Sharknado tried to do that. Or, well, actually, I'm probably going to point this way. Yeah. Yeah, Sharknado tried to do that, and that failed horribly, in my opinion. That was, like, one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And I can say that because it had a, it had a, at least, it had a little bit of a theatrical release in theaters, Sharknado. So I can say it's one of the worst movies of all time. But yeah, that movie tried to be bad, and that didn't, succeed at all hell i'm still shocked as to why they still made uh four sequels or is, i don't even know if there's another one coming out please don't tell me there's another one coming out oh please don't tell me there's another one coming out but yeah like that's about all i can say about the hurricane heist the hurricane heist i thought i thought when i saw the trailers i thought it was gonna be bad i didn't know it was gonna be this bad the Hurricane Heist is, in a, is a complete atrocity of disaster movies. Hell, it is a disaster of a disaster movie. Do not see The Hurricane Heist. It is awful. I flat out fucking hated it. This is definitely going to be way up there in the worst movies of the year later on uh, in the year. So, yeah, no, uh, um, no surprise. I'm giving uh, The Hurricane Heist a 0 out of 10. Please don't watch The Hurricane Heist. Please watch Love, Simon. Love, Simon's excellent. It's very wholesome. Not this movie. This movie's dumb. I don't like dumb. Unless it's Dumb and Dumber. That movie was funny because it was dumb. But luckily, the writing was good. So, yeah. And acting. The acting was also good. Mainly the acting. Yeah. 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 If you can't... Yeah. If you've watched... If you've already watched Love, Simon, watch Dumb and Dumber. I don't know. I... Ugh. I need to get this out of my head. Just please don't watch The Hurricane Heist. But if you have, what do you think of the Hurricane Heist? Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like. Share the video so we can get the channel circulated. And if you want to see more, click this.